What's going on everybody? Welcome to California, the bands for arms pop me and welcome to episode seven of the $50 Funko Pop Collection Challenge. The whole goal of this series, starting with a $50 bill, is to work our way up. So buying things for cheap, selling them in order to get $100 Funko Pops in our collection. So we're here at the Bands for Arms Pop Me in Anaheim, California. And let me kind of explain what I'm doing here because we're not actually messing with any of our funds from the previous episodes, but we're actually using another pop that I have for trade. So let's go grab that. I want to talk about it real quick. So if you guys remember two episodes ago, we picked this up. KSL classifies for $10. The thing is, we have a couple of hundred dollar pops in our collection already. We knocked off animation. We also knocked off television, I believe. So this is a duplicate of animation. This is like a $160 pop. So my goal for today is to trade this for something that I'm missing in my hundred dollar Funko Pop collection. So it could be Star Wars, could be Disney, could be sports. It could be anything, but we are using this as leverage as for trade to see what we can get for it so we're gonna go to all the different booths that are around here this is kind of where I'm sitting right here if anybody wants like stickers or anybody wants to say hi at the pop meet that's where I'm at Danielle is here today as well so I'm excited to see what we can find for trade because guarantee I think we can find somebody that wants this okay so the goal right here guys so we're gonna start from the corner right here kind of take a look and see what more expensive pops we can find and anything else that I'm looking for but that's the whole goal so we're gonna start right here we're gonna see what we have so let's check this out right here kind of looking through everything just some fun exclusives Dino is definitely a cool one that's right there sorry I'll get out of your way all right so they were saying that the most expensive pop in here are these two Freddy Funkos was this from the box of fun last year right yeah, last year. did you get the new one no, I didn't. oh you didn't get the new I one did you get the new one? <laughs> you guys you guys yeah. are slacking but no, I'm just I'm just kidding no there's some awesome ones dream team Freddy is a cool one that's really cool and you got the predator Conan as well yeah, lots of really cool pops in here for sure. All right, my buddy Blake, the pop nook over here, does have a booth. I'm not sure if there's anything $100 worth or whatever that we can trade. Maybe the only thing that I can see right here is actually this $150 pop that's the guest from Haunted Mansion. And that might be one that I considered trading for. That's definitely a cool one, but check out the pop nook right there over on Instagram. He's awesome. But yeah, totally has some awesome pops here at his booth. So coming over here, guys, this is where the shop is. They also have some stuff that is outside. And let's kind of check out and see if there's anything cool. Oh, I do like some of this stuff. So like the original Hobbit stuff. You got some Disney Inside Out that's mixed in here. Stranger Things has been really big recently. So that's some good ones. You also have some Power Rangers, Tapatio Man. Yeah, some pretty good heavy hitters in here. And then if you guys want to take a look at their second table, I'm not seeing anything maybe that I'd want to trade for specifically, but still a pretty solid selection of pops. Okay, so this is the other part of the meat that's on the side of the shop. Definitely a lot of booths that we're going to check out. Hopefully we can find an awesome deal, an awesome trade to get us another $100 pop. I have a feeling that we're going to find something here for sure. Okay, so coming around here, guys, in the corner, I actually see a couple of pops that I feel like would be a little bit more expensive, like this Doug that's right here. I don't know if you guys can see that with the glare of the sun, but there's also some Sailor Moon pops that are in there. I like that Tails that's over there as well. I don't know if you guys can see that either with the sun, but yeah, there's a couple of pretty decent pops that are at this table for sure. Okay, so this is the next booth, guys, that I was going to come across, and I did notice some cool things. I kind of walked through here recently. You guys know that I'm a big Simpsons guy. I love the Homer Simpson in the hedges. I think that's really cool. We got some SpongeBob, some Sonic, which is really awesome, but like I said, we're looking for the more expensive stuff. Some of these soda chases might be, but our challenge is with Funko Pop, so I don't think we're going to really mess with those today, but some of these might be worth some good stuff. Some good amount might be like some of these Cowboy Bebop ones, some of these ad icons, maybe. I don't know. Looking up here, maybe there's like Moon Knight as well. White Rabbit might be a good one. Selena could knock off that $100 pop we need. I don't know. There's definitely a lot of good stuff. We got Moon Knight. I like that Bee Rabbit M&M that's over there as well. That's definitely a good one. So we'll keep looking around, see if there's any other pops that I want to try and maybe trade for, but 
This is definitely a good start right here. Coming up on this next one, I do see some really cool pops that you don't see very often. Some of the ones that I really like over here are some of these like Ninja Turtle ones, Inside Out, bunch of other anime stuff. What else do we got in here? We got like Beast right here, which is a cool one. Let me zoom out so you can see a little bit better, but lots of cool ones if we look back here. Some South Park ones, which are really awesome. Ernesto, Ernesto de la Cruz, I like that one as well. Yondu is a cool one. Thor's a good one too. Ooh, we have Supersonic, guys, check that one out. That one's awesome. That's a new one for San Diego Comic-Con that I don't think a lot of people have seen in person, so that's definitely a fun one to see. Bunch of Pokemon that are here. Danielle, look, they got, they got your sight. <laughs> we might have to get that one. All right, what else do we have in here? Some more anime stuff that's over here. You got another Sonic, which is awesome. But yeah, definitely a cool booth, guys. I don't know if we have anything that we want to trade, but still some pretty solid pops for sure. Okay, guys, we got this booth that's right here that we're going to check out. And I'm sure that we're going to find some good stuff in here. Well, let's see what we can find. Ooh, I love Arnold from Hey Arnold. Let's see, an awesome one. Got some Bob's Burgers ones. I actually just completed that set, but those are really fun ones that you don't see very often. Some other anime stuff, Attack on Titan, Sonic the Hedgehog that we just saw over that booth over there. But yeah, definitely a lot of really good pops in here. Some other stuff that's somewhat newer stuff, but you don't see very often. Some of the new Blacklight stuff, some of those horror ones like Michael Myers, Elvira, Captain Hook. But yeah, definitely a lot of cool ones for sure. This is the next booth. We're gonna wait a second before it clears out, but let's see if we can find any good ones and also one that we can potentially trade, hopefully. Okay guys, as we walk through here, we're gonna see some pretty cool pops. Actually over here, there is this one. I think that might be a fun one to add to the collection. That is definitely a $100 pop that's related to games. There is also Mr. Monopoly, which is a cool one. Iron Man's a cool one as well. I'm saying cool a lot in this video, guys, because there's a lot of cool pops, but a bunch of anime stuff. We already have anime knocked off our list, but let's kind of take a look over here and see if there's anything else. You got some Marvel stuff, some more like mid-tier Marvel, some Office in there. Also some other animation stuff. You have some ad icons in here, which is a category we need to knock off. We'll have to take a closer look and see if we can find anything else. But yeah, definitely some solid pops in this booth for sure. Okay, we're coming up on my buddy Paparazzi's booth. He's, it looks like he's got a lot of good stuff. So we're gonna see if maybe he wants to trade anything or what other cool stuff that he's got in here. Okay, so let's start on this table over here. It looks like this is more kind of like mid-level stuff, but you have some good Marvel, some good anime that's in here. I think probably towards the back is where they're gonna have their higher end stuff. Okay, kind of taking a look back here, guys. They actually have some pretty good ones. So you got like the Anti-Venom, which is one you don't see often. The She-Ra back there, John Wick. Carnage, there's the Chester Cheetah, there's also the Blacklight Carnage, and the uh, Clown Jack in the Box Cart, that is definitely a cool one too. But they've also got some other ones over here, you have some more Marvel, some more superhero related things, anime, but yeah, kind of just take a look at everything, but if we had anything that was going to be a part of that challenge, it would definitely be over here but nothing that I don't think I'm looking for today. Okay guys, coming up on this one, they actually do have some pretty solid pops that I can see that have some value that we might be able to trade, like Mad Hatter that's up there, Edward Scissorhands, Smarty Weasel, Judge Doom, Harlequin, Roger Rabbit, Jack Sparrow might be a good one to trade for as well. You got Russell from Up, Jafar, Emperor Zerg. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me pan back up. Russell and Jafar right up there. Rex, the Witch, Scrump. Yeah, lots of good ones. Some DC ones in there. Let's see. Ooh, you also have like Baloo. You also have uh, Indiana Jones, Cheshire Cat. You got good old Steven from Steven Universe right there. Looks like they got a really solid selection. You know me, I love my um, cartoon pops. You got the Rugrats right there with Reptar, Tommy, and Chucky. So, good selection over here. Maybe we'll have to ask about some of the pops that they have up here on this stand. Okay, I believe this is the Pop Couples booth. There's a lot of people in there. We're gonna wait a second, see if they have anything that they might wanna trade. Okay, so I finally made my way in this booth, guys. We're gonna check out everything that is here. I'm trying to see if there's anything that I wanna trade for a category that I'm missing. So we got a bunch of anime right here, which we've already, like I said, a couple times in this video, knocked off, but I can actually see a couple things back there that I think would be pretty similar in value. Let's kinda come back here and see if there's anything 
yeah well there's definitely gonna be some good stuff in here so check this out we're gonna look at this so we have a Catwoman, which is an awesome one you got jolly roger curse barbosa some freddy funkos which is definitely one we'll have to knock off as a category for sure but pebbles sheriff ralphie holy cow and just check out this whole section of things guys you got like genie you got russell tigger evil queen carl jack sparrow disney is another category i need to knock off so maybe we'll ask and see if we can trade anything for this but yeah lots of really good disney ones in here i'll have to see if i can pick out a couple maybe see if there's one that they want to trade you got lotto you got sorcerer mickey you also have a goofy that's right there as well oh my goodness yeah i think this might be the booth if they're willing to trade something this would be a good one Okay guys, it's been a little bit, but I'm gonna get some footage while I'm here of this booth. Apparently they had a bunch of stuff that got cleaned out in here and everything like that. But there's still some really fun ones that I like. You guys know, I'm a big cartoon guy. I love Garfield. Definitely a cool one for sure. You got some of the black light, like Batman, animated Batman set, some Transformers in there. I'm trying to see what else is in here. You got some like the Panda Pool is a cool one. Doctor Strange is a fun one. Moon Knight is always a cool one, especially with the shell. Those pops turned out really awesome. But guys, kind of check out everything that's here in this booth. You got Medusa. Mothman's a cool one. Is that a part of the Myths line? Let me check here. Okay. Yeah, that's a part of Myths. That's one that I don't have. I'm going to see maybe if I can trade for that one. I haven't had any luck yet, guys. Nobody's biting on my uh, Ryuk from Death Note yet. But maybe, we, we might have to ask Nick too in his shop over there. He might be interested in that. But definitely some cool ones in here, some of the train sets. You also have the, uh, the Godfather set as well, but definitely some good pops in here for sure. Okay guys, I think I found a trade, so. What was your name again? Kobe. Kobe, okay. So, he wanted the Ryuk, and this is what he had right here. So they were pretty similar values. This was 165, right? Yes, sir. This is 160. So we did a trade straight across Carnage for Ryuk. Is that how you say it, right? Yes, sir. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to do that. Thank you so much for doing that trade. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, this it. is awesome. Now, guys, that the trade is complete, we're going to head into the shop. And I know that there was a couple things that I wanted to buy personally. This isn't going to be a part of the, the whole, you know, $50 challenge and everything like that. But we'll give you a little bit of sneak preview of what they've got going on in here. I remember Danielle saying yesterday that she was interested in a Snow White here. Let me grab let me grab one for her real quick. Okay, I don't know why. There you go. Does it look okay? Looks good. Real quick, I wanted to show some of the pops that they have in this display case. I'm not going to buy any or any that's part of the challenge. I don't think I have any of the uh the stuff available or at least funds available to buy any of the stuff but haunted mansion's cool super shadow some of the consignment pieces that are in here and then guys they just have the massive wall of stuff there's just so many cool things in this shop i just wanted to give them a shout out i mean obviously because they're hosting the meet and everything like that but there's so many good pops in here oh actually there's another good one back there too with the uh, roger rabbit two pack that i forgot to show off as well but dang, if you guys are in the area, definitely come and visit the shop and check out Pop Meats as well. Okay, this wasn't the outro that I was expecting, but overall that was a really solid Pop Meat. Thanks to Nick for inviting us out. Had a really good time and we were able to check off and do that trade. So we checked off a Marvel Pop on our $100 Funko Pop collection. So next episode of the $50 Funko Pop collection challenge, we'll definitely be hunting for more things because we need some more money to add back into our funds so we can buy more $100 Funko Pops. But guys, that's not it for my adventures at California. There's going to be a lot more videos on the way. So definitely stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind of one another and always promote positivity. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.